Did you know after any modification done to a Texas Star, or after, let's say, you purchase in a Texas Star, and you don't know when the last time it's been hooked up, or you've acquired a Texas Star somehow, and you have no idea if it works or it doesn't work, the very first thing to test before you ever, and I repeat, ever inject the RF into this amplifier is the bias. To make sure that the bias circuit of this amplifier is properly working. Why? Because this amplifier consists of the most simplest in form of circuits to get bias to the base of these transistors. A simple voltage divider resistive circuit using resistors. You need to make sure that each section, each two transistor section has proper bias going to the base of the transistors. One of the first and most easiest ways to test this is testing the actual resistive circuit itself with an ohm meter. We're using a Fluke 77, you can use any ohm meter for this. Take your black wire, which is your negative wire, hook it to the case or your negative power cable or any negative part of the amplifier. Make sure you're in, you're in the setting to read ohms. If your ohm meter slash multimeter has multiple settings for this setting, put it to the lowest setting. We have our black wire to ground. Now we're going to take our red cable and put it to the back of the first input transformer. You should read anywhere from 1.3 to 1.5 ohms. Possibly 1.6, there's a tolerance there, but you wanna make sure you're around this range, close to this range. What this is doing, this is reading both 10 ohms on the basis of each device going to ground along with the tw uh, 25 ohm 5 watt resistor and the resistor if not in place none of this would even be possible the resistor going to ground which you'll see this right here is is that a gray band Big boys race our young girls, but violent generally. That is a 1.8 ohm resistor. Right here should be a 1.8 or a 1.6 ohm resistor. 1.6 is the ones normally used with 2290 versions, but you may see them used interchangeably. The best possible resistor to use in this place would be a high precision resistor, but Texas Star has always used five percenters. You take your red lead and then you test your next input transformer. 1.5 ohms. That shows you that both of our voltage divider circuits for each bias circuit appears to be good, resistive. Yes. Multiple times out of 10, you would be safe to go ahead and inject RF into the amplifier, but one golden rule I've always found out, it's always best to actually hook DC voltage up to the amplifier and check the bias voltage on each two transistor section with the transistors turned on. This will let you know, make sure there isn't any issues that could be going on once you apply voltage to the actual amplifier. And this right here is the final test to truly let you know that at least both bias circuits in the amplifier is ready to go. At this point, what I do, as long as I can see, we're getting ahead of ourselves, but at that point, I will increase 
deep once the amp is on I will decrease dep I will press all my switches in main reason for this it will determines which amplifier you're on but basically you want with this particular amplifier to be well actually it would it would just be these two switches you want to basically turn all your attenuating resistors on and inject RF this is because you want to put as little as RF as possible into the amplifier first instead of putting a lot of RF in. Ease your way in if this is your first time ever running the amplifier and especially like in my situation these are all brand new transistors this amplifier was converted from a 667 over to a 500 as you can see this is where a lot of the conversion happens and removing a lot of the attenuating resistors in the 667 version so now we're going to test the bias voltage for actually the first time in this amplifier one of the biggest killer of transistors in this amplifier is if this resistor right here ever becomes blown and sometimes it can actually happen under the resistor where you can't even see it a full around 12 volts then goes to both bases of these transistors wiping them out almost immediately this is why it is paramount to do these tests before putting RF into an amplifier a Texas star if you are not sure that it's currently working as you'll notice I now have my red lead connected to this green tester it is clipped to the front the back excuse me of the input transformer so we can read uh, read the bias voltage going to both bases of the transistors we have the black wire a, a black lead of our test fixture connected to the frame which is to ground with this you can do it any way you wish a quick way of doing it is by using a tool like this or a flathead and grounding the 470 ohm resistor to ground as you notice I put the base of the device on the ground like this and pivot over to the 470 ohm resistor actuating the relay if bias voltage is flowing you will notice at this point that the front transmit lamp will light up indicating that you do have B plus going to your bias circuit now we will take a look at the bias voltage going to the first section of transistors we're at 0 0.619.620 perfect we're sitting there right at 14.2 uh, volts at the time higher the voltage the higher the voltage that will be since this is not regulated that was 0 0.62 now we will move over and read this section you need both sections to be in close tolerance with each other point two five that right there is a good bias circuit for both that is close enough in tolerance the only reason for the difference if any you do have a longer lead link going here to this bias circuit but the main difference is the difference in tolerance in this resistor or the 10 ohms if you want to be as precise as precise can be go down to more high tolerance parts or well you can prehand match these parts beforehand before using them closer in tolerance your parts is closer in tolerance everything else will be and again a golden rule never I repeat never inject RF into these amplifiers without testing your bias or any amplifier any solid-state amplifier that has bias voltage going to the basis of the BJT devices. This is Gatekeeper for tips and tricks to get Texas Star amplifiers. Bye bye.